I know car has been a frustrating experience, especially for families on a tight budget. While it has gotten better, dealerships are still facing an inventory shortage. News Channel Line's Ashley Cafaro shows us what to expect if you're in the market for a new ride. Don't step on the gas pedal just yet because you won't get too far. The pandemic led to fewer choices and jacked up prices, and there are still fewer cars on dealer lots. Naturally, inventory's down from where we were three years ago at this point. It's been a tough couple of years with empty lots, supply chain issues, shuttered plants, and while sparse lots are filling up again, car buying isn't back to normal just yet. I took over this store in 2014. I've been here since 2009, but I've been in the business almost all my life in service and sales, and there's never been this much of a crunch for vehicle inventory. Affecting cars across the board with the more popular models being tougher to get. In, in our line, we have the Telluride. It's been one of the most popular vehicle launches of all time anywhere. They're still, you know, for us on order only and, and we get them, you know, four to six months out. Just three years ago, this lot was filled with hundreds of cars to choose from, but that's no longer the case. However, Matthews Kia of Clay is staying optimistic. I think manufacturers are on top of it. I think that they're moving along, getting cars into the dealers and doing their job to get these products in front of consumers. Speeding things up day by day. In Clay, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9. And the dealership says now's a good time to trade in and trade up. Used cars still in demand. Head to localesfire.com for more about that and find out why it could be a good time to buy out your car lease.